Good morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a folded fabric texture like the one I'm showing you now. This is actually a really easy texture to make, and I think everybody's going to have some really good success with that. So to start, you want to start with a background, um, whatever size you choose. If you want to do it for a wallpaper, you could do that. If you want to use it as a fabric swatch for making clothing or whatever projects you have, you could just size your um, background appropriately. I'm using 512 pixels by 512 pixels for mine. What you're going to need to use is your gradient tool. And you're going to want to set it to the default black and white. You're also going to want to change your mode to the difference. And we're going to change our opacity to about 60%. You can play with this a little bit. Um, and see what you like better. Different opacities will give you different effects. So the way I like to start is dragging my gradient tool with a path across the page like that. Um, and basically what we're going to do is just start dragging at different lengths across the page our gradient tool and we're going to do this over and over again until you get the texture that you like. So you can kind of see the fabric folds falling in place. Um, just continue on until you find one that you like um, until you get the wrinkles you like. Changing the angle will give you wrinkles at different angles. And, um, you know, there we go. So let's stop here. I think this is pretty good. This is kind of a cool wrinkly fabric. You've got some different, um, you've got some different shaped wrinkles in here, kind of like fabric. Um, so now we're going to add some texture and color to this. You can use your dodge and burn tools to make it look um, a little different. You can, if you have a paintbrush you like to use, you can place a paintbrush over the top of it with the texture on it. And that would look something like this. Let me grab a uh, fabric texture um, and change the color. You're going to work in a grayscale. And obviously the picture the color you pick is going to dictate what your texture looks like. And then it just change this to overlay. And that gives you a little bit different feeling to your picture. Or um, we can um, add some noise to this. So you can just um, paint in. You can just paint in um, some noise. So you could go add texture or add. And let's choose um, texturizer. First, we have to add some color to it, silly. So let's go ahead and just bucket fill that layer. And we'll move the opacity down and stuff when we get going here. So filter, um, texture, texturizer. I like using the sandstone. I change how much, how big our texture is. And let's bring this down to like one. So it's changing that obviously changes the relief so let's bring it down so it's pretty mild and let's add some noise to this and we're gonna add noise and let's bring this down to about 10 and lay it as an overlay Adjust our opacity on it. And that's a pretty good that's a pretty good texture right there. So you've made your own cloth texture. Now let's give it some color. The easiest way to do this is by going to adjustments, choosing your um, color balance tool, 
and just adding a color that you like. And there you have it. Now you can warp it, crop it, trim it, cut it out, whatever you want to do to make it usable for you. And you have got a pretty cool uh, pattern there or texture. If you felt so inclined, you can use your dodge or burn tool and burn in some of these darker areas a little bit. I probably need to adjust my exposure. I was doing a different project. Um, if you really wanted to add a lot of depth to this, probably using the shadows will help us out a little. There we go. Um, so you can put in some deeper creases. You can accent your lighter creases. Like that. And make it look a little silkier. And there you have it. There is a new fabric pattern. If, um, as always, if you have questions, feel free to contact me, play with it, the different patterns you use, the different um, colors, and where you stop with your fabric folds will give you a different look. This is obviously like a deep creased area. Don't feel like you have to use the whole thing. Um, you know, go with whatever you like, and have a lot of fun. Thank you all for watching.